Aquarius signs, welcome back to my channel, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Thank you for being here with me today. We are going to be looking into something a little bit more daring, so dare to proceed. This is going to be about your person's past, okay, and it might be something you don't know about them yet. There may be some things coming up around them here that you may learn. Um, it may resonate with some, you may have seen signs or glimpses of this before with this person or with their past, but it might be helpful in understanding what sort of, what's in their past and what they may be hiding or something that they've done in the past here, okay? So look, they may eventually open up to you about this. Um, like I said, it may or may not resonate, but either way, thank you for joining me for this. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, and also to sign up to membership on the channel if you like. Okay, a few cards are falling out. Um, otherwise, let's let's have a look what's coming up next to this person about their past. Something you should know. Okay, air yeah, signs, we've got Leo energy that has come up with the strength card here. Okay, so straight away this person, tell, it's telling me that this person is very prideful about their past, but they're also very territorial about their past. So it makes me think they've done something here that I don't really want you to know about. Um, they're too proud to admit that they did, or maybe they don't want to sort of deter you or upset you. Um, okay, you've come up as the king, the five, the queen the five of swords okay there's a king and a queen here so my guess is that this person is potentially talking to someone else in the past maybe or from their past okay so it could be an ex they're still talking to they're still attached to here because there's a coupling up um in a relationship it could also be like anything that they've done their ex-partner has also done too so i sort of want to put that on the side here uh okay so i think with the Four of Wands, the Judgment card, Four of Swords. Um, this person isn't exactly honest about how their previous relationship ended. All right, they don't really want to open up. It might have been like a long distance connection. Uh, it might have been very back and forth, but I guess that there was a lot of turbulence in the relationship that they're not exactly sort of letting you know. Um, I feel like they may have done things they've regretted. The Knight of Cups can indicate like a drinking addiction. Okay, air sign, some of you, this person has a past history of drinking a lot. Um, and it's sort of like their go-to, like anytime they're stressed or they don't know how to deal with an issue or a problem, they just go drinking. They binge drink, they have a big night with their friends, you know, that's, there could be an addiction happening here, okay, because we see the Five of Pentacles. I feel like in the past, maybe their drinking has caused them to lose money um, or not be good with money, not be able to save money. Um, it's made them like sort of lost um, or despaired before. Now, it could also be that they had a person in their past who was very similar. So they sort of did these things together. It was This behavior was instigated. Um, so we do have that Knight of Cups, which, which can be the drinking. Um, I also feel like they, they've ghosted people in the past with the, with the Four of Swords. It's almost like their past, what they've done here is that they've sort of left relationships very quickly without sort of an, so much as an explanation. So be careful before you're into, you know, you, you're looking at this person here because, you know, you have to be mindful of these things, especially if they have a history of doing it. We've got marriage here with the Four of Wands. So there's someone here who's potentially covering up a marriage, maybe covering up a divorce. There's marriage and divorce sort of coming up here with the judgment card. Um... Or I feel like this person still holds anger within themselves about a previous relationship, even if they haven't been married. This could just be a relationship here. It could indicate that this, you know, someone from this person's past is still on their mind. And it could be their last girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, their last partner, their ex. Because there is a couple coming up next to this person. And if it's somehow it's impacting this person's past, it's possibly affecting the future. So... But they're, they're, they're territorial, they're protective. Could also be still protective about this ex or this, this person. So they may not want to like talk to you about this ex. They may shut down. You know, they may not necessarily be open um, about these things. So 
Oh, they get defensive. We've got defensive energy with that seven of wands. So my guess is that they're defensive for a reason. And if someone is very defensive about something, chances are there's a reason why. You know, if they're super deflective and they're defending something, it's because they want to cover it up. So the, obviously the more defensive they're going to be, the more concerning um, that is. So it could also be like they have multiple people around them. Okay, there might be someone here from this person's past. Could be like this person always keeps someone else on the back burner um, because they don't know how to judge the situation. Maybe they don't really know how to act when love comes into their life because we could have a third party situation here. This person may still be attached to someone from their past, okay? But it might not be in a healthy way. It could be in a detached way. So, okay, so they may have patterns of, you know, maybe not necessarily cheating, per se, but there could be deception here. So they may have patterns of either going back to their exes in the past, you know, starting new relationships, not being wholeheartedly committed or emotionally ready, and then they keep going back to this person. They may have a past history of drinking excessively, drinking to the point where, you know, they sort of lose track of focus. They look a certain way to their employees, you know, their boss picks it up with after work drinks, or anytime there's an issue, they go out and they think having the big night's going to solve it all, or, you know, they get to the the drunk to the point where they don't remember anything, you know, like that's very concerning and it could indicate that someone needs help. This is a card of needing help. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone here in the past, they've seek, um, sought help for their relationship issues of going back to the ex or they've sought help for like their drinking um, or they've, even anger. Anger can be coming up with the seven of ones and the strength card here. So I'm wondering if this person may have a history or in the past they've been abusive, um, you know, maybe verbally, maybe emotionally, maybe they've been abused, they've been on the receiving end of it, and then in turn it sort of conditioned them to be this way towards you. So you might pick up on some of these signs, you might see certain signs and tendencies, which we tend to see early on in the connection. Um, so it's important to take, take those on board, take those on board and consider consider this um, if you want to move forward in this relationship. But there is a marriage or a significant relationship that this person still thinks about, um, or they still they still sort of there could be lingering feelings. These the king and queen. Um, this is Gemini energy, so this is communication. So I feel like this person still communicates with their previous person. Some of you are aware about this. Maybe they're just on friendly terms. Some of you, some of you aren't. Some of you may learn this eventually, but I just thought I'd put it out there, air yeah, sign. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. Much, much love. Uh, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video um, and also to subscribe and sign up for membership. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be catching up very, very soon. So thank you again, everyone, and bye for now.